The next marine organism we're going to identify is the yellowtail snapper. If you've ever been out on a dive boat and dropped a tasty morsel of food over the side of the boat that was almost instantaneously attacked by a voracious group of fish, those fish were probably yellowtail snappers. They are very common fish seen throughout the tropical waters of the Americas. They are easily identified by the bright yellow mid-body stripe that starts just behind the eye and ends at the tail. Their tails are also bright yellow, hence their name. The rest of their body is a silver white, and they may have yellow spots on their upper body. Their tails are deeply forked. Dive masters frequently jokingly refer to them as the piranhas of the Caribbean due to their voracious appetite and their willingness to attack anything thrown into the water. Their normal diet consists of small fish, squid, crustaceans, worms, and gastropods. In other words, almost any type of creature you will find on a coral reef. Yellowtail snapper hang out in loose aggregations well above coral reefs. They will frequently be found hanging out in the shade of a dive boat, at anchor, or on a mooring, waiting for something, anything, to be dropped into the water. They are unafraid of divers and will closely approach divers while they're on their safety stop. Yellowtail snappers can breed throughout the year, although different areas have different peak breeding seasons. They are open water breeders and the eggs are scattered over the reef surface after fertilization. The eggs are left to hatch on their own without either parent paying any attention to them. Once hatched, the juveniles feed mainly on plankton and can most commonly be found over seagrass beds or weed beds. That's the yellowtail snapper.